interesting rig you have there. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Is that a four stroke Honda? Yeah. Yes, it is. Welcome everybody to Fishing with Jet. We're back at it again. We're gonna give this day number two try. Um, again, I'm on. I'm in an online tournament, uh, straight up summer classic tournament. So we're looking for length. We're looking for length. Uh, with length comes weight. So we're looking for some good ones. Um, I got about. <laughs> Probably nine, ten rods tied on, and uh, we're just gonna try to scroll around this little local lake near my house or whatever, and uh, we're gonna try to see what we can come up with. Hopefully, we can get something that we can measure and uh, use it towards the tournament or whatever. But uh, I've already made my mind up. I'm not really gonna post anything on the leaderboard unless you know it's at least 18 inches. So. Anything shorter than 18 inches, maybe 17 and a half, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother with it because I've looked at the leaderboard. The interesting thing about the tournament is the top 40 moves on to the championship round, so I got to get with it too. Um, so with that being said, let's get to it. We're gonna start things out with a swim jig. Just gonna go down this this little small dam right here riff-raff and everything and we're gonna try to see what we can come up with. Way to start days off. Whew, pretty good. On the swim G. Okay, now I gotta do something I should have did before I got on the water. I gotta write down my little cold thing to take my take my little measurements. God. Boy, I tell you, Jim, you're always forgetting something. Good thing I got a marker. All right, y'all. That's a good one right there. Let's get a little weight on him. I done drifted way out here. Let's get a little weight on him. Taking way too long. Submitting these photos. Well, taking the photos. Good one. 
too. Oh, that was a joke. Got a nice one. Got a hole. Spin a bait. All right, everybody. Let this guy go. That was close range right there. Pretty good fish. Let's get him this one. He ain't that big. I don't think. Be 15.75. 15.75. Two on the spinner, baby. I thought I had a hog, y'all. End up not being a hog. <laughs> it's a good one, though. It's pretty decent. Oh, man, I heard it bad. Get this guy back in here. Heard him up pretty bad right from his eye. Man, I thought that was a monster. When I seen that flash around that tree, I thought he was a bona fide hog. Man. I don't know if y'all can see that, but man, the wind has picked up big time. Oh man, this is gonna be a rough one, but I got a couple more places I'm gonna fish before I call it a day. Gonna have to battle with some wind, so the audio probably not gonna be good if it's not already good. But the wind been blowing, but it's now it's really, really blowing.
My goodness, he come right at, he come right at the boat. Come right up and, and I seen him go engulf it so quick. Oh my God, look at this bad boy right here, y'all. Look at this bad boy right here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I need the I, I I need I need the ruler, the measuring board and the scale, buddy. <laughs> me and the Raider is, hey, me and the Raider don't play, bro. We don't play. Ooh, that's a heavy one. 7.31 You ain't quite up there yet, boys. You got to get more pounds. It's all right. That's a monster right there, buddy. That's a monster right there. Catch him off of I caught him off a of hook. It's all right. You can catch him off All right, y'all. Look at this beautiful, beautiful monster. Beautiful monster. Beautiful. Gonna let her. Gonna let her go, y'all. Gonna let her go. First, we started out with a swim jig. Less than 10 minutes of fishing the swim jig, I caught my first fish. Uh, ended up being 19 inches. Pretty good sized bass. I thought it was a good, real good sign. You know, I was like, man, this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good day. Um, didn't take long. I hung another really good fish, probably bigger than it, maybe. But uh, it jumped off. Uh, after fishing with the swim jig for another, you know, 15, 20 more minutes, I decided to change over to my spinnerbait. Um, been really trying to keep 
in on the, the spinner bait with the uh, with the wind blowing real hard and everything else. And I started throwing the spinner bait, and I was able to connect with three fish. Um, one in which was 17 and a half inches long, and I decided to, you know, pretty much use that fish. After fishing with the spinner bait, I was coming into an area where a lot of wind was, you know, like really, really blowing, and um, I wanted to fish with something that I could throw in the wind a little bit better, so I switched over to a bladed jig. I ended up catching the biggest fish so far in 2023. Matter of fact, the biggest fish that I've gotten in the boat um, in the last couple of years. The fish ended up being 23.75 inches long. But man, I'm trying to tell you, it was this close, this close from being 24. And as you look at the picture right here, you tell me which way y'all would have went. Would you say it? Would, would y'all have said it was a 24 incher or would I put it at put it in as 23.75? I mean, it was this close. Well, but at the end of the day, super exciting fish to bite, you know, to catch. Um, the fish came right up to the edge of the boat. I mean, I seen the I seen the bite the entire time and it, oh, just a giant fish. I thought the fish weighed more than it did. End up being over seven pounds almost, getting in the range of close to eight. But man, let me tell you something, that was really exciting. I was so thankful and thankful that I was able to catch that fish. And I hope it happened plenty more time because y'all know, y'all watch my content all the time. I, I've i been hanging big fish, man, and I lose them. So with that being said, I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Oh. Oh, and by the way, I did. A, I moved up on them charts. I'm currently in 36th place with only three fish entered into the tournament. Um, and I still got two more slots to fill in. So hopefully I can keep going and uh, can keep climbing the charts. On top of that, I zoomed up to the top spot in the biggest fish category with that 23.75. So, hey, maybe it'll hang on. With that being said, I appreciate each and every last one of you out there for taking time out checking out my content. I deeply appreciate it. And I'll see each and every last one of y'all on the next one.